All right, guys, can supplementing with the amino acid taurine help with anxiety? Let's answer that question. So let's first of all just take a 35,000-foot view of what taurine is real quick. First of all, it's a non-essential amino acid, meaning your body can actually make it if it needs to. Although it, is, it does come in food, that's primarily where we get most of our taurine. So we're looking at things like any sort of meat, seafoods, dairy, eggs provide a good amount of taurine. Also, as I mentioned, your body can make it from another amino acid, cysteine, in your pancreas. So that kind of gives you an overview. Now, one thing I want to mention, there's not really any studies, high-quality studies, that show taurine can help with anxiety. However, I've had reports of people tell me, yes, it helps with anxiety. And if you dig a little bit, this is what I think is going on. And we got to back up a couple steps because we need to talk about of all things, estrogen, okay? This is important, man or woman, because both have estrogen in the systems. Now, estrogen is actually excitatory. I'll explain in a bit what we mean by that. But the bottom line is it inhibits a neurotransmitter called GABA, GABA aminobutyric acid. Now, GABA is uh, basically calming. I guess that's a good way to explain it. So. Um, if estrogen inhibits GABA, it makes it excitatory. Now, something to remember about GABA, okay? It's structurally similar to the amino acid glycine, all right? Now, taurine is also very structurally similar to glycine. So what we believe is that taurine is actually anti-estrogenic, which gives it more of that calming effect. I did a video on using taurine to help with sleep, um, I've had reports of that. You can go and watch that video if you're interested in that. But the bottom line is, um, when we're talking about this, we have to consider estrogen because we know that when you have higher estrogen levels, some of the things we can see is that your sensory and your motor nerves become heightened. Okay, we get sort of this anxiety anxiety type component. You can see things like epilepsy, even all the way to psychosis, if estrogen gets too high. Now, again, this doesn't make estrogen bad. This doesn't make taurine great. We, our body needs all these things. They just need it in a balance. So when estrogen gets out of balance, one of the possible things is anxiety, and one of the possible things taurine does is decrease estrogen, okay? So uh, taurine, yes, sleep anxiety. I have personally had people tell me that it does help with it, however, We've got to talk about some downsides to taurine, okay? First of all, let's talk about some potential side effects. Now, in addition to the reports of people saying, yeah, it's helping with my anxiety, they also give me reports of decreased libido, uh, sex drive, and that seems to go hand in hand with the next two. We can see in studies that supplementing with taurine can increase your prolactin levels, it can also cause your cortisol to decrease. Now, so many people talk of cortisol in the negative context. It's a stress hormone, those sorts of things. And just like estrogen, you do need cortisol in your system. It's, it's not a bad thing. It's a needed thing. Again, it's a balance. So this increase in prolactin, decrease in cort cortisol can cause a decrease in libido. We can also see if you're diabetic, we can see drops in blood sugar, we can see hair loss and hair thinning, and then just some of these run-of-the-mill side effects, particularly GI side effects, constipation, uh, diarrhea, upset stomach, those sorts of things. Now, would I supplement with taurine? I would be careful with it. I don't think it's absolutely necessary. Obviously, we have to start with your diet. There's uh, ways to track how much taurine you're getting in your diet. If you feel that it's low or you want to consider supplementing, I don't think it's dangerous to do it. You definitely want to talk to your doc. However, I would start low. I'd say something like 500 milligrams. Start out once a day. You can maybe increase that to twice a day. See how you do. Again, monitor. You know, have you had changes in sex drive? How are your blood sugars? Those sorts of things. Increase is tolerated. The upper limit of taurine supplementation is quite high. We've, we've given six grams a day or 6,000 milligrams a day for up to a year. So the doses used in supplementing has been quite high. The bottom line is, 
Does taurine appear to be effective for anxiety? Yes, it does. I think it's a viable option. Is it something that's not without downsides or side effects? No, and you're gonna have to be careful with your dosing to help prevent those things. Also guys, make sure if you're looking for other natural therapies outside of drugs and surgery, go to my website. There's a free checklist there for you where I give you 11 of those, uh, quite a few of them, many of them. Uh, you have most likely not heard of the other ones. There's a lot of misunderstandings around. So go grab that. Uh, and let me know in the comments, guys, any questions, other video topics. If you've used taurine for anxiety, let me know. Did it help? Did you experience side effects? Uh, it's good for me. It's also really great for other people that are going to watch this video. So I really appreciate your guys' feedback. Hope the video was helpful, you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.